we know that hope is something really, really important. And I hope that this story really touches your heart today. You may have heard about the Israelites. Now they were a people that were in Egypt for a really long time, like 400 years. They had experienced slavery for 400 years. They were working so hard and they were working so, so hard that they cried out to God and God heard their cries and he had a plan to rescue them. And we know that Moses was the man for the job because that's what the Bible tells us. God had a special plan for him to get the Israelites out of Egypt. Now we've heard about the 10 plagues. If you're not sure what they're about, read about it in the Bible. After the 10 plagues happened, the Israelites actually left Egypt and came to the Red Sea. And we know that the Pharaoh changed his mind and he wanted them back because they were his workers who would do all the work. He wanted the Israelites back and he sent his army after them and they chased them down. And there was the army on one side of the Israelites and the Red Sea on the other side and the mountains on the other two sides. What were they going to do? Now, what we need to remember is if God is leading us, we need to trust him. He has a plan that we are not always aware of. And when we think things are impossible, God can make a way. We can put our hope in him. Sure enough, God opened the sea in front of them and they were able to walk across on dry land. And we know what happened to the enemy. Sadly, the sea collapsed in on the enemy, but all of the Israelites were safe on the other side. God led his people. Not only that, he led them all the way to the promised land. They got there. 12 spies were sent out into the land to go and check it out. All 12 came back. The land is amazing, they said. It's flowing with milk and honey. Oh, the people were amazed. But then the spies went on and continued saying, oh, but the people there, we can't, they're so big and oh, we're not sure. But there were two of those 10 spies who said, yes, it is what the other fellow spies are saying, but do you know what? We need to go forward. That was Caleb and Joshua. They said, let's go forward because they knew God had been leading the Israelites and God would continue to lead the Israelites. But sadly, the Israelites only listened to, oh no, we can't do this. Oh no. They gave up hope. They thought, no, we can't do this. They should have kept their eyes fixed on Jesus, on God, because he was the one who would get them through. And do you know what? It took them 40 years after that to learn to put their trust, hope and faith in God because he was going to lead them back there and into the promised land. And sure enough, that's what he did. Do you know, when we think things are impossible, when we think things don't seem logical, God is able. God is able to do amazing things. Sometimes we forget that because we think, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. But God can do things that we can always think is impossible, but he can do it. Do you know what? Hope is a confident expectation of what God has promised us. The promised land was promised to the Israelites. They should have believed God. They should have trusted him and they would have gotten into that land a lot sooner than what they actually did. That reminds me, let me show you something. What's in the bag, you may ask? Oh, look at this. I've got two balloons here. Both yellow, both look the same. Hmm, they might look the same on the outside. They may look from the side, from the front, they look the same. We are like these balloons. We may look fine, we might look okay. We might look like we're filled with hope, but do you know what? Sometimes people might be like this balloon. Maybe you're feeling like this balloon right now. Now this balloon, oh, it sank down. 
It might look like it was hopeful, but it really wasn't. Now this balloon, on the other hand, oh, rose up to the top. Now your eyes may have gone up like that too. That reminds us that hope is from God. As we look up in hope, our eyes are drawn to God. We need to keep our eyes fixed on God so that when we are tempted to think it's a hopeless situation, it's too hard, I can't do this. We can say, God, please help me. This is really hard. And he wants to help us. He wants to be with us in those hard situations because do you know what? He's our very best friend and he wants to be with you and with me so that when things get tough, he can help us to rise above all the difficult situations that we face. Keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and he will fill us with hope. Hey, I hope you really love that inspirational message. If you liked it, make sure you click the bell, subscribe so that you get notified next time we post one of these great inspirational talks. Go, go, no, that's terrible. <laughs> Okay, here we go.